So with SolStack, we wanted to use it to be able to do uh, configuration management at the OS level. My current company, Optiv, was able to deploy infrastructure out in a very customized fashion in a large scale, quite easy and with not as much technical engineering re required. So we didn't have to write customized scripts or code to deploy out to a multitude of servers. Instead, we could use SaltStack to do it with a master and the minions installed on the infrastructure. We really want to be able to recreate a particular environment and be sure that those base configurations, that state that we want the system to be in, is the same and consistent. If we're trying to test something and we want to change a variable and we want to kind of start it all from scratch, we want to be sure that everything else was configured the same. So being able to be consistent across our infrastructure was kind of key. I have one source, one place, one rep repository or version control system that I can pull from and tell the salt master to load up and the minions would run and execute this for the configuration management side or your infrastructure's code executes against the, we'll say the cloud provider's API to deploy systems in a consistent configured manner. So there's not, oh, I have to deploy this VM and then configure it this way and then run the script. It consolidates everything to one point and one automation tool. I think SaltStack is, a, is leading the charge on the event-driven automation um, world because of the primitives that they've put in place um, to manage systems. I don't see a lot of other um, configuration management tools focusing so much on what happens, how do you respond to an event when it occurs. And SALT seems to be the one, one of the only ones focusing on that particular problem, which I, I think is, uh, is pretty important for when you start scaling things up. That's all that matters.